Shoulder impingement is a very common diagnosis. There's a lot of debate over the diagnosis of impingement. And often people are concerned with anytime you're lifting the shoulder more than 90 degrees. Nonetheless, we all do still need to elevate our arms. We all still have things that we have to do that are overhead, whether you're doing it to become stronger, if you're painting the ceiling or putting in a light bulb. Impingement is something that a lot of people deal with as they age. It's good to know if the patient has any indication of impingement, even though preventing people from doing overhead activities is borderline impossible. My father has bad shoulders. And every time we go over, he seems to be up in a tree or painting or changing light bulb. I'm learning that people that are diagnosed with impingement seem to not follow the rules anyway, so why bother? <laughs> We're going to help the patient internally rotate the arm and then in the plane of the scapula. So you're not coming straight in front of you. You're also not coming straight out to the side. You're gonna be coming at a 45 degree angle, but first passively internally rotate and then elevating the arm. And this will be jamming the supraspinatus tendon while you do this passively for your patient if they have impingement. Internally rotate, external rotation. Internal rotation. I'm going to passively internally rotate his arm and then in the plane of the scapula or the scapular plane We're now going to forcefully elevate his arm Internally rotate It's kind of fun. I will say 